with you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at creating our own custom windows 10 installation uh, media uh, which is going to be an iso image now this is going to be a pretty lengthy video uh, but if you're into uh, making changes to your installation before you install it then this video is for you so you can see here i've got a bunch of uh, stuff on my screen here uh, we've got 7-zip we've got a windows uh, iso and got some other uh, tools on here which we're going to take a look at in a bit so let's first uh, get on with our project folder here you can see I've got a project folder where all my stuff is going to go so what I'm going to do first is install 7-zip now we also have the latest version of Windows 10 here which is uh, important and also we have our toolkit which is what we're going to use to uh, manipulate and change and customize our Windows 10 ISO so let's get um, 7-zip installed. It's a very quick and easy uh, program to install, but this is going to allow us to uh, unzip uh, files and stuff like that. So let me just in, uh, install that on there. Now we're going to install our toolkit, and toolkit is going to allow us to uh, make changes to our ISO. So I'm going to extract all the files to the project folder. So let me just uh, navigate to that project folder here. You can see I'm on the desktop and I'm just going to choose my project folder inside here and just let that unzip. OK, and I'll leave the links uh, in the video description for you so you can follow along. And uh, once that's all unzipped, we're pretty much ready uh, to go. Now, inside our project folder, you should see the toolkit here and uh, yours may be a newer version if you're watching this at a later date inside your dvd folder this is where we need to install our windows iso so i'm going to unzip this and extract all the files now you can extract the files to that location but i'm just going to open it up and do this a different way for this one so i'll show you a couple of different ways so you can open up the archive here and you can just copy and drag all these files straight into the folder so depending on which way you want to go about doing it it doesn't really matter they all do the same thing basically so we're just going to extract all of those windows files into that dvd folder there once we've done that we can then close off uh, that project folder and inside here you'll see all the files for windows 10. okay so first off what we're going to need to do here is change the esd file which is the to a WIM file and we can do that by looking inside the sources here for our Windows files so let me just come down here and you'll see install uh, .esd and uh, we will need to change this uh, to install .wim so we can make changes to uh, the actual Windows itself so what I'm going to do here is open up this tool you've seen me use this before it's called uh, Win Reducer. And this is going to allow us to convert our ESD file to a WIM file. And uh, it will also allow us to delete that file afterwards. Now, another thing you're going to have to realize if you're going to be doing things like this is the amount of time that's involved. It's quite a lengthy process and it's not going to be uh, quick and easy to do these types of uh, tutorials. So I have cut some uh, bits out to make it faster, but I've not cut any steps out, so you won't miss any steps, okay? So let's click on the uh, Win Reducer and open up that program. Say yes to the user account control here, and this will open up our program. It'll ask us to activate or not. I'm going to say no here, and uh, the program will open up. Gives you a countdown of five seconds. And uh, just click OK there if you get a little box popping up. So this is the actual program itself. I'm going to make sure that I put the buttons on the top and also need to put on default here. So you can see 7-zip, DISM, and other settings up the top you need to do, and then click Download. And that will take a bit of time, okay? So be patient. I've speeded this process up so you don't get bored. And then click OK and move on say no to activate again and we'll move on to the next step so now we've got this open here what we need to do is click on the open button and this is going to allow us to select our ESD file and this will then allow us to convert that file 
okay you need to convert it before you can uh, make changes so we're going to click open here and again uh, this does take a bit of time to complete this process so depend on how fast your computer is as well so I'm going to go to the desktop here and go into my project folder and then into the toolkit then DVD then sources inside here we can now look for our ESD file so come down to the bottom here and click on install.esd now once we've done this we can uh, see this all automatically populate and we can now go from ESD to WIM and we can also delete uh, the source file after conversion because obviously I don't need that file to be uh, in there because it's just going to be two lots of files now that does take a bit of time so be patient I have speeded that process up so now we can exit out of that program again we need to say no here and this will allow us to continue and again you get that five second countdown so just be patient okay so let's go back into our project folder here and go into our toolkit and then back into DVD then sources and then look for the install and you should see now install.wim and the ESD file has been removed there we go so that's good so we're ready to uh, start making changes to our Windows 10 now so open up the toolkit uh, folder here and come down to where it says start and just click on start and this will start the program off so you get a blue uh, prompt box like this and then accept their terms and conditions and this will start to uh, read the host OS and this is where we can start off now you want to click on the source file which is number one here so just put one and push one on the keyboard and now we can select the source from a DVD folder which is what we've already done so let's just push one here and get that selected now you may have a big selection of uh, versions of Windows ie Windows 10 Pro Windows 10 home and so on if you want to remove those you can do um, but I've just got one version of Windows here but if you have got multiple versions you can remove those and just leave say Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro so we're going to mount that uh, Windows setup boot image and the recovery image and let that mount and it will take a bit of time the mounting process does take a bit of time so you just have to be patient okay so now we're going to go into uh, the management tool here and push uh, enter to continue on the keyboard and you can see here we've got a bunch of other things we can do we can convert we can integrate and this is integrate you can integrate uh, language packs uh, Windows drivers Windows features Windows updates and also custom uh, features as well and you can see here this is the integrated area where you can uh, use custom themes UEX themes patch and so on you can put all that inside here uh, Windows picture view uh, Metro skin and so on you can make all those changes here I'm not going to cover all of this in here because it will take too long but you can also see integrate .NET framework 3.5 you can integrate uh, Windows sidebar games um, and also dart and stuff like that so go into number four here and click on remove and this will allow you to remove uh, default Metro apps you can remove them all in one go but if you want to remove them this is the place to do it and you can see here you can remove all the ones that you don't want in here for instance uh, Xbox weather wallet if you're making a PE out of this ISO it, you can remove all these features from here if you're not needing them in your PE and it will also keep the size uh, down small okay and this is how you can reduce a lot of the features on that Windows ISO that you might not need in that sort of environment so you can see here uh, we're just going to remove a couple here and of course when it's removed it you push uh, enter and you have to push for and go back into the remove feature you can also remove Windows components as well just be careful that you're not removing anything structural otherwise your Windows installation will not work and again you can see here it's gonna 
remove it, uh, the calendar and all that sort of stuff uh, from there as well. Now it doesn't remove them from the list, so you may want to take note as you're removing stuff because you can get a bit confused. So just remove uh, what you want here and then mark it down so you know what you've removed, okay? That's because there's quite a lot to actually remove uh, from here. Now removing the Xbox uh, feature here is pretty simple. So when you go to install, when you've finished your removing process and you go to save all this and install it, all these features won't be on that installation uh, disk as such. So I'll just let that go through its process and try to remove all of the Xbox uh, features on there. Now also there is a feature where you can remove all of them in one go. So if you don't want to remove all of them, you'll have to remove one at a time and that can be quite time consuming. But if you're just not interested in any of the apps there and you just want to remove them all, you can just remove them all. And uh, you just have to go back into remove. And then you can see here, there's a list there. All apps is number five, uh, all apps except store app and all online apps. You can choose whatever one you want. And uh, when you push that enter in there, and push enter you will start to remove all of those from the list as you can see here or we'll just go through and start removing everything now that will take a bit of time so i'll speed this process up um so it doesn't bore you too much but there's quite a few that it's going to have to remove okay so i'll just let this uh, go through its thing and then we can continue so i'll try and show as much as i can here let me just go back into the integrate menu and uh, you can choose here um, features as well so if you wanted to go into here, you can also add MS Dark, uh, DirectX 9, and also uh, some other useful stuff, as you can see here. Now, if you're trying to install uh, Microsoft uh, Dart, which is a useful thing to add, you're gonna need to make sure that you have that already downloaded and installed, okay? So you can integrate this into the Windows setup boot image, or you can integrate this into the Windows image uh, recovery part okay or the recovery image part so you can see here I've not already done this so you can see the dot underscore w10 dot tpk file is not found and that's because I've not put that file inside of that packs uh, dot windows 10 folder so if you are wanting to do anything like this you will need to download these and also install them into the folder like that okay now i'm not going to complete completely uh, do that process but that's what you'll need to do if you want to add things in you need to add them in so it knows where they are and it will integrate them uh, for you okay so moving forward we're going to go into let's see here what we've got on the list uh, we can go back into uh, the customize menu here now you can import a uh, custom default metro apps uh, associated from the XMP file and so on and you can see here we can go into tweaks and remove um, Cortana and I'm just doing that right now just letting that remove so inside here again you can see there's some other stuff here we can disable automatic uh, driver updates through Windows updates and also disable automatic downloading and installing third-party apps as well so depending on what you want to do here uh, you can set this up as as you like. Now everyone's going to have their own personal things that they want to do. So let me go into here. Let me just uh, do the uh, disable automatic download and installing third party apps. I'll remove that as well by just pushing four on the keyboard and that will start to do that for me. There we go. So let's move on uh, to another section. And if you look into apply here, push number six, you can see here clean up source image. I'm going to do that right now. So just push one and I'm going to clean up the source image and let that do its thing. So that will take a bit of time and let it clean up that image for us. So I'll just speed this process up and then we can move on to the next section. So inside that apply area, you can also uh, remove other sections like this is remove windows uh, components and this is in the remove section and again you can remove a windows home group um, windows uh, take test app and also skype 
OneDrive uh, Connect app. You can remove all these from here. If you have no use for them and you want to remove them, you can just push A to J and go through and remove them. You've got all Windows uh, components there by pushing one and you've also got uh, the advanced window components as well. So you can go into there. If you wanted to go into there, just push two and it will take you into that location. And you can see here, we do have a bunch of other stuff inside here like Windows Search, Windows Store Client, Windows uh, System Restore, if you have no use for it, Microsoft uh, Telemetry, Windows Defender, People's Experience Host. You can remove those from this uh, from this location by just pushing on those letters and it will start to remove them, okay? So removing uh, Windows components is that simple. We're just using the, uh, removing the Cortana app package and I'm just removing that there as you can see. So I'm not going to go through and start to remove everything because obviously the time element would, would, would be here for hours on end. So we're just going to do one or two at a time and you'll be able to see and then follow through at your own pace. And of course you can always uh, watch the whole video, pause it and go back and stuff like that as well. So push uh, the enter key to continue. So I'm just going to go uh, back into the customized menu and we can remove default Metro apps associated with XML files. So I'm just going to do that quickly and uh, remove those. And it will go through and start to remove all those as well. And you can do that. It's very easy to do. And then we can get back to the main menu. And uh, once we've done that, we can go into uh, Win Manager here. And you've got de debug information. You've got set tool, uh, color settings, also disable toolkit, info and warning dialogues. Loads of other bits and pieces inside here. So just have a look around and get yourself familiar with it, okay? So once you've been uh, messing around and you've done all your uh, removing and changing and tweaking, you can go into your customize area here. And also you can see here in apply tweaks, we do have some other bits and pieces that we can remove, okay? if we wanted to. So let me just go back and uh, go back to the main menu. And I'm gonna make some uh, changes here. I'm gonna clean, make another cleanup here and then we're gonna save our image. So let me just do another quick cleanup of the image. Now again, you can add in drivers. So if you've got known drivers for your systems at your workplace or anything like that and you need to integrate those, you can do. Uh, and it will automatically install those uh, during the installation process. Now, what we need to do here is apply and save changes to our source images. So I'm just going to let that do its thing, and that will take a bit of time also, so be patient. I'll speed this process up so you don't have to wait. And uh, there we go. And now push Enter and go back to the main menu. And what we can do here is go back into there, into the Apply tab, and rebuild our source image now. You should see that available to us. So we can rebuild this. And again, this is going to start to export all our image and get it all prepared. It will take a bit of time, okay? So again, I'm speeding this process up for you, and I've cut little snippets out. So what you need to do here is press Enter on the keyboard. And uh, once we've done that, we can now go into our target menu. And you can see here, it will say, make a DVD ISO image. So what we're going to do here is create our ISO. So I'm going to push one here to enter that and create our ISO image. Because we've made some changes. Now you can enter in an ISO volume label here. If you have one that you want to use, I'm just going to quickly put something in here. Just so uh, I know what it is. So there you go. So I'm just going to put Windows 10. Put underscore there. You can put whatever you like in here. You can put your own uh, name in here that you want to use. So once you've got that done, push enter and then it will ask you to give it a name. So we need to name our ISO image once we've pushed on enter here. So let's go ahead and do that quickly and just add in a name. So whatever you want to call it, Win 10 Custom, Win 10, it really doesn't matter. Just call it whatever you like and uh, just type it out here. So let me just quickly put Windows 
10 or underscore 10. There we go. And then once you've got that ready, you can just push enter and that will then start to create that ISO file and uh, you'll have all your changes made uh, to that ISO. And there we go. It's just going to start to complete this off. And it will be in your ISO folder inside uh, your toolkit folder in your project folder. So I'll speed this process up. There we go. Now we can push the key on the keyboard to go to the menu and then we can quit out of this. OK, so now all we need to do is just push X to quit. And we can quit out of this. Push continue again. And there we go. So now we can uh, take a look at what we've done. So you can go into our project folder here, into our toolkit uh, folder and into our ISO and you should see the ISO image that you've just created and that you made changes to. OK, and it's right there. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can create your own custom Windows 10 uh, images uh, by using this toolkit. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one helps you out. Thanks to John for requesting a video. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.